Dean, how can we as ordinary Burmese Muslims, and I'm speaking on behalf of the person asking the question, uh, inside and outside the country, help to lower the tension so that they can help to prevent future loss of lives and properties? What can be done to de-escalate the situation? Inside, outside Burma, wherever, wherever we can. Uh, it says here the tension inside the country, so I imagine between, uh, between the various parties. Uh, I, would, I would redefine as a relationship. Okay. Sure, yeah. yes. I, I mean, that, that's what they meant, a relationship. Understood. Yes, I think you understand what, what they're asking. Okay, the, the, the question was uh, how can we improve the relationship between Rohingya Muslims and non Rohingya? Burma Muslim, Myanmar Muslims in central Burma, as well as in over overseas. One, I believe, the one single word will give a lot of weight to that is communication. We, uh, Rohingya community and Myanmar Muslim community, need to develop a, a, a permanent communication link. Uh, both sides, because of the role Myanmar government played, divide and rule, we have both sides a lot of ignorant people. Uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, there are people uh, still is not, may not be quite ready to accept each other. Because again, they are, they are, not, they are victims of the exploitation by the neighboring government. So we need to educate those who think that, you know, um, the other side is not good. You know, one thing we have, we knew that uh, um, the Rohingya were not as much accepted before as today now is because a lot of folks in the central Burma um, innocently, innocently wanted to be in the good books of Myanmar government. Because we have, Rohingya has been uh, uh, under ethnic cleansing since 1962-65. But, but uh, during that time, uh, Myanmar Muslim folks did not feel pinched as much. They kind of have free rights along with there are not much violations in wide, large scale. So they thought that they are safe. So, uh, those, so those people who may not have realized the really intricacy of the, the game Myanmar government was playing thought that you know, we are safe, we want to keep distance away from them. So now the, the ghost of horror, atrocities and killing has surpassed Rakhine State to central Burma. And now it is, the proof is that Rohingya were the target, not, not just not the Rohingya were only target, but they are Muslims are generally a target. Why Rohingya first? There's a reason for it. Why they started Rohingya before they went to uh, Myanmar Muslims to kill? Rohingya people maintained a region with language and cultural identity, not influenced by a uh, Buddhist religion or um, Myanmar culture or. The Rohingya culture, you will see, uh, uh, it may be similar to South Indian culture and Arabic culture, Middle Eastern culture, it's a mixture of Middle Eastern culture and South, uh, South Asian culture, and language is also Urdu, Persian, Bengali, and Arabic, mixed Rohingya language. It's a unique characteristic. It's, it's identify, Rohingya people identify themselves with culture and religion. and. Uh, and that honestly, most Rohingya people are quite conservative. You know, uh, my mother, when I was growing up, never went out of the house ever during daytime. At nighttime, they used to go visit families and friends. You know what they used to wear? Hijab at night. They used to wear hijab at night. During daytime, they would not even go out with hijab. So we are a kind of conservative uh, society by and large. And then we have a Rohingya's cultural identity, language identity. Those are the foundation of a community. Burmese government sees that. 
So roots of Islam, they, they were feared. Uh, Myanmar government feared as roots of Islam, the Rohingya. So you want to cut the tree off, tree of Islam, you have to cut the roots first. Then they did. So then they went to central Burma. So the question of relationship, I think it is a great opportunity here. We communicate, we make, we comfort each other. We are same victim now, and we need to se send the message inside Burma who may not have got the message clearly through personal contacts, through a social a social a network, social media, and internet. That hey, look, this is the story here. So uh, through communication and sharing uh, uh, the, the pain of each other through thick and thins will pave the way for us to be, become closer. And I'm very pleased that we, both sides, has finally woken up and coming closer. And we need to continue that through communication. Thank you. Thank you.